Here we are. Let's tell Grandma Grouper where we're going today. Well, hello there, Freddy and Luther. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma Grouper. I'm afraid we don't have much time to visit with you today. We're on our way to Coral Cove Park. You have fun. And be safe. Thanks, Grandma. Goodbye. Wait for me, Freddy! Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Mystery Channel. I'm your host, Mystery, and today we're going to be wrapping up the Freddy Fish Marathon with Freddy Fish 5 and the Case of the Creature of Coral Cove, released by Humongous Entertainment back in 2001. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive on into this. Um, I think we got a pretty big movie coming right on up as soon as we start. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Here we go. We're not gonna let some sea monster keep us out of Coral Cove Park, are we? I say we drive the monster out! Ooh. That's what I say. Drive the monster out! <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. What's going on here? I'm Marty Sardini. I developed Coral Cove Park into a beautiful attraction. But Mayor Marlin has closed it due to sea monster sightings. And we're not gonna let some sea monster spoil our fun, right? Not a sea right. monster! <laughs> Wait a minute. Has anyone seen this monster? I have, and it scared the dickens out of me. It scared me too. Something seems fishy here. But Freddy, we are fish. <laughs> No, Luther. I mean something doesn't seem right about all this. An angry mob is no way to solve this. Luther and I will figure out what the sea monster wants. Just give us some time. She's making sense, Marty. Let's give the kids a chance. Hmm. All right. You've got till the end of the day. Then we drive the sea monster out of the park! Whoa. Deal. Gee, I don't know, Freddy. A sea monster sounds scary. Don't worry, Luther. I'm sure there is a logical explanation for why this sea monster is scaring everyone. The first thing we need to do is get into Coral Cove Park to look for clues. All right, now right off the bat, I'm just going to go ahead and say... Um, Whoa! Oh. Where do you think you're going? We're going to investigate Coral Cove Park. No one may enter the park, folks. Mayor Marlin's orders. No, what if folks. we're here to help? Is there any way to get in? Your only option is to get this permission slip signed by Mayor Marlin. We're on it! Uh, what I was gonna say is this game has a lot of movies and cutscenes in it, so while I'm not gonna do it right off the bat, I'm going to I'm gonna start skipping through some of the transition scenes because some like this is the first game to have a scrolling background, but it's only for this part. But it takes up you a lot of time. You like Barker. That's because we're twins. Oh, <laughs> my name's Gillian. I'm Freddy, and this is my friend Luther. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. <laughs> oh, that's nightmare fuel, is what that is. But yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to skip on some of those transitions to save time. Hi there. I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. We'd like to talk with the mayor, if possible. I'm Clyde. The mayor's all yours as soon as I'm done with his makeover. It's just that I'm missing my number seven fin pick. Where could it be? It must be back in my barber shop. I'm so absent-minded these days. Mm. I'll go look for it. We'll go look for it. If you'd like. What dears? <laughs> Quick as a bunny, just run over to my barber shop. The fin pick should be right there. How do you know what a bunny is? Hang these keys up on the hook inside the barber shop when you found the fin pick. Okay. Phew. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start skipping now, just so we can. You see what I'm talking about? Um, something about this game seems off to me. I can't quite put my finger on it. Which key should I? It might be this key. But there's something about, like their audio delivery is slower than the others. That's it. We're in, Luther. Whoopee! It, it's something about it just doesn't seem doesn't seem right. There, the keys are on the hook, so Clyde knows <clears throat> right where to find them. And I see fin picks already. If you can figure it out, let me know in the comments. But it somehow just seems. This must be the fin pick Clyde needs to give the mayor his makeover. We'll soon find out. It just seems slower somehow. And they talk a lot in this one. I mean, they talk all the time <laughs> in this one. This should be the right fin pick, Clyde. Ooh, you're so efficient. Now can you finish the mayor's makeover? But of course. I'll only be a moment. There's just so many of these little movies. And they're cute, but... I, I don't know. Something about it is weird. Like the pacing. The pacing just seems so foreign to me. <laughs> All done. See you tomorrow, Mayor Marlin. Splendid. Splendid. <laughs> splendid. Mayor Marlin, we have a permission slip we'd like you to sign. It will allow us into Coral Cove Park so we can solve the mystery of this terrifying sea monster. Well, like this, for huh? example. Oh, right. There is a sea monster terrorizing the citizens of Coral Cove, isn't there? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mayor Marlin. Now, Officer Beverly will let us into Coral Cove Park. Good luck to you both. The citizens of Coral Cove are lucky to have you here in times like these. Whoa! And that's what I'm talking about. It's 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 got this weird slowness to it where everything's like spaced out a lot. I'm not sure what's up with that. Hello? Is there anybody here? It's Freddy Fish and Luther. Hey, Daddy O, I'm Nick. Yeah. I'm back here trying to fix this sign. Daddy O? Is he talking to us? Sure I am. It's all cool. Except that the bolt I need to hold this sign up fell into a clam's mouth. And now I'm trapped here. Maybe we can get the bolt out of the clam's mouth and help you fix the sign. Hey, Freddy, that reminds me of a knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. Who's there? Dwayne. Dwayne who? Dwayne the tub, I'm drowning. <laughs> Did you see that? You made the clam laugh, Luther. <laughs> Maybe we can get the bolt back while the clam opens up to laugh. Whatever yeah. you can do to help me out of this heinous situation would be appreciated. We're happy to help. Don't worry, man. We're gonna help you out. Excuse me. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my friend Luther. Hi. Well, hello. My name's Kit Craftsman. What do you use these for? The pliers? I'll use those to take this big ship apart. I can't find a bottle big enough to fit the thing. Taking a ship apart must be hard for you. Yeah, it's a heartbreaker. I wouldn't need the pliers if I had a big enough bottle for this ship. Maybe we can find one for you. That'd be fantastic. It sure would. 
All right, let's go on Hello. back here. Hello, I'm Rollo. Who are you? Nice to meet you, Rollo. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. Pleasure meeting you both. I'm horrified. <laughs> Puns, knock knocks, or riddles. Three purple sea urchins for each, but only one joke per customer. That's expensive. They'd better be funny. Well, if the one you buy isn't funny enough for you, you can bring it back and trade it for another. We don't have enough purple sea urchins to buy a joke yet. I hope you don't run out. Don't worry. I have plenty of jokes for sale. That's good. I'd hate to miss out on all that humor. How about a pun? Well done. That's rare for this medium. Spare me! Oh! Ha! There's more than meets the eye. That's just a sample. How much do your jokes cost? No, we've already heard that. that that's terrifying. <laughs> but this isn't terrifying. It's a purple sea urchin. Good eye, Freddy. So I've had to do, um, full disclosure, I've had to do some test runs on this one because it took so long when I tried to do it the first time. I got it! Way to go! There's just so many of these little scenes. It was like, an, it was as long as one of the MMO adventure videos. So I've had to learn how to cut it down. And I've actually had to learn how to, like, uh, parse out a path to go through. Hi, Casey. Hi, Freddy. Hi, Luther. What's going on? Same old, same old. I'm analyzing food samples, but unfortunately my microscope is broken. Can't you fix it? Yes, but only with a pair of pliers. Maybe we can find you a pair of pliers. That'd be great. Then I could continue analyzing these food samples. Well, we know where to get some pliers. And if we go talk to this lady, we can get a walkie-talkie. Hey, that looks like an interesting map you have there. Why, yes. It's a topographical map of the ocean floor. What is it used for? This detailed map is generally used to explore the surface and depths of the ocean floor. Oh, so you're going on an exploration. What I'm going on is a top-secret military mission. It's highly confidential, and I'm bound to secrecy. Unfortunately, I won't be going on any mission unless I figure out how to read this map. Right now, I don't know which way is up. And unless I quickly find out which way is north, I won't be able to lead the team of Tetras to the top-secret military location. If I could only get my hands on a precision mission finder compass, I would be able to pinpoint the exact location marked here on this map. Luther and I would like to help you, but where do we go to find a precision mission finder compass? I believe that there is a precision mission finder compass locked in the purser safe on the shipwrecked Raymond Fitzpatrick. Can't you get it out? <laughs> First, I need to break the lock's code to get into that safe. What's with the yakety capacitators, then? Someone out at the shipwreck needs to relay the lock's letter code back to me here. My machine can decipher the code, giving me the correct password. I'll do that. Can you use this? I communicate in Morse code for security reasons. Sure, I can figure it out. All right, Marge the Sarge, we'll help you out. Uh, the army not being able to read a map, that sounds right. Marine Corps for life, Semper Fi. I'd like one bag of planktos, please. Not a problem. One purple surgeon. Yep, that's Gil's sister, all right. <laughs> Thanks. Now we're gonna head down this way. Gotta see this gentleman. These jugs. What are you playing? Jugs. You're good. 
not as good as I should be, I'm still one jug short. And this glass bottle is no substitute. I wouldn't need this bottle at all if I had another jug. Jug. Hi, I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. Her very best friend. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you both. My name's Donna. I'm a claw machine repair fish. Well, hello, Donna. That's a neat cap. Thanks. It's an official union cap. Can I get a cap like yours? Only qualified claw machine repair fish can have a cap like this. Union rules. These claw games are the best. I always win this game. That machine's broken. I'm here to fix it, but I can't because I lost my screwdriver the other day. It's a pretty scary story. It was just a regular day. A day like any other. I had finished work early and was swimming around Coral Cove Park with some friends. Suddenly, a giant creature appeared. Oh no. It scared me so badly that my charm bracelet, which had the screwdriver on it, fell into a jawfish cave. <gasps> Oh. I'm scared to death of that monster and that jawfish. I'm not going back there. Luther and I will help you get the bracelet back. Alright, so we've got a bunch of tasks that we can do. And we need to get into the park. Here's the permission slip signed by Mayor Marlin himself. You don't say. Well, I'll be. Well, don't you know. <laughs> Go on in, but remember what I said. That sea monster is huge. And it's evil. Oh. No fear, eh, Freddy? No fear, Luther. <laughs> no fear, Luther. Come on. What's this? Yuck! It smells horrible! Look at the size of the bite taken out of it! <gasps> that bite's big enough to be a sea monster's! <gasps> That's just what I was thinking, Luther. The sea monster must have been eating this and dropped some. We're hot on the monster's trail now. We just need to get this sample analyzed. If only we knew somebody who Another could analyze food substances. Surgeon. We're getting rich! You know, we always spend all of our sea urchins. Oh. oh. Hmm. Those meddlesome kids are gonna ruin my grand plan. Hmm. Here's a way in to the shipwreck, but this door is locked. <laughs> are you sure? Yes. We need to find another way in. Yeah, a, a reference to the Edmund Fitzgerald seems so weird in a kid's game. <laughs> Rest in peace, Gordon Lightfoot. Oomph! 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 I'm too big to fit through this hole. Let me try! Like a dream! Luther! You need to unlock the door so I can get in, too. You got it, Freddy! Alright, we're gonna go down here. It's yellow right, blue left, red center. Maybe moving those colors around will unlock the door in the room above. Then I can let Freddy in. And the door is unlocked. Let's get our friend in here. Uh, Put some backbone into it, Luther. Uh, <laughs> oh. 
Can they open one door without breaking it? <laughs> you did it, Luther! Took a big hunk out of it and everything. It looks like we'll need a code to unlock this. How can we break the code? I'm not sure. We may need some help with this one. Oh, I know how to break the code. I'll transmit the letter code to Marge in Morse code. Then she can use her decoder to break the code and send us back the letter combination to open the safe lock. Genius! Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and splice the video here to make sure the recording goes through smoothly. So be right back in just a second. All right. So let's see. The code is URP. Let's see here. U... This is a really fun puzzle, I have to say. R. And then P is dot, dash, dash, dot. That was the correct code, Luther! Now, all we have to do is decode the Morse code Marge sent and enter the correct letters into the lock combination to open the safe. Yippee! This is a really, I will say this, it's a really fun puzzle. Um, let's see, so, one dash is, this is two, or T, sorry Freddy, didn't mean to cut you off, then dot dash dot dot, L, then dot 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 is S. Here we go. We did it! We sure did, Luther. Are you there, Marge? It's me, Freddy. I can hear you loud and clear. What's up? We got into the safe on the Raymond Fitzpatrick, and I can see the Precision Mission Finder compass. Good work. Get the compass and bring it back to base. Over and out. Luther. Oh, well, we don't need it anymore. It wasn't yours to throw away, Freddy. Now let's grab the compass and meet Marge back at the base. Freddy. <laughs> I'm shocked. Let's head up this way, and here's that jawfish. Luther, look. It's a hungry jawfish! Come on, boy. Come on. Here you go. That'll keep him busy for a while. The coast is clear, Luther! I got it! Here you go, Freddy! Good work, Luther! We got the charm bracelet with the screwdriver on it! Sweet. Well, who keeps a screwdriver on a charm bracelet? That's my question. A purple sea urchin. A purple sea urchin! Just waiting for me to come along. You know, they've never made it through a single game without spending all of their urchins. I saw that one first! Yeah, sure you did, Luther. I like to think Freddy's got a nice bank of sea urchins now. We'll come back for that... for that jug. That mud skipper sure is having fun jumping from puddle to puddle. He's going all the way across... That's a weird audio glitch. I'm not sure what this is for. It doesn't seem to do anything. What? Oh, oh, I did it wrong. Alright. 
Good job. We there, made it. There we go. That wasn't so bad. A purple sea urchin just for me. What about me? For you too, Luther. No, Luther, you don't get any. You don't get any of my urchins. Whoa! <laughs> All right. So let's head on back, turn in our items. Head this way first. Here's your charm bracelet with the screwdriver still on it. Right on. I'll have this machine fixed lickety split. Right on. Oh. Look, a shoe. What? She's fast. Yep, all done. It takes one purple sea urchin to play. Have fun. Bye bye now. We have four all set. <laughs> I'm going for the fake tattoos. I have Keep never won. Steady. I have never once won one of these. I love them, but I, I suck at them. Oh, I got a glow necklace. It's kind of pretty. Wow. Well, at least we got to play the game once before it broke again. Yeah, and we got that pretty glow necklace, too. I'll wear it if you don't like it. Nah, I'll hold on to it. I'm sure it'll come in handy sometime. That's about my luck with those machines. They're always either broken or I'm just losing. It's <laughs> I'd like one, please. They cost three purple sea urchins each. Here's another purple sea urchin. You're still one short. Oh, here you go, man. Here's another purple sea urchin. Great. <laughs> Great. Hot sauce. Here is your pun. You can always exchange it for another joke. I'll remember that. Thanks. Thank you, my man. Fish puns are a bunch of abalone, but okay. With friends like these, who needs an enemy? <laughs> One Luther, I got the bolt. So weird. Good work, Freddy. What a dream. Now we can go to Nick's snacks. You're a real gone fish, Freddy. I like it. I like it a lot. I can dig it. Can you dig it, brother man? Glue might come in handy. How much is it? It's free. Consider it my gift to you for helping fix my sign. Gee, thanks. I like your style, Nick. I'm gone, man. Solid gone. Now we're gonna go get that jug. Glue is great, but I need to put the pieces in the right places. Lots of puzzles in that this game. That fit perfectly. We're getting somewhere now, Luther. Good one, Freddy. That, pi that piece fit perfectly. Good one, Freddy. That pe there. All done. All done. Yeah, lots of puzzles in this one. 
I wish glue worked like that in real life. <laughs> it's fantastic. Just like new. All right. Let's change this jug in for the glass uh, jar or bottle. Check out this jug. It matches the rest of your set. It's like we've reunited the jug family. Are you for real? I can keep this jug? Hooey! Of course. Here, take this glass bottle. Thanks. Thanks, man. Have fun. I know a man who can play the jugs. I've always wanted to. I'm bad at it. I'm bad at a lot of stuff. Could you use this bottle? Oh, splendid. If I didn't find a model big enough to fit my ship, I was going to have to take her apart. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? I'm fascinated by ships and bottles. I've always wanted to try it, um, but I've never, I've never taken a whack at it. What a wonderful gift you've brought me. You've saved me the pain of dismantling my work. I've got a couple, Do you though. still need the pliers? Take that tool of destruction out of my sight. My creation is safe in her permanent home. Thanks. I love them. I think they're so cool. Okay, now we're gonna go back here. Talk to this man, our friend from the first game. Try these pliers, Casey. What's a month in it, boy? That did the trick. My microscope is as good as new. Thanks, Freddy and Luther. It's our pleasure. Take a look at this for me, man. Could you take a look at this food sample? We found it in Coral Cove Park. <laughs> this food is highly unique. Whoa. It's a kind of sea cheese, and it's only found in Tetra Caves, and it's typically only eaten by sea monsters. <gasps> Jackpot! Mm-hmm. Just as I suspected. Did you, Freddy? Come to think of it. Look at this key I found the other day. It has traces of the same food substance on it. Why don't you take it? It may come in handy for you. Thanks, Casey. Luther, we should have a look inside this Tetra Cave for clues. Hmm. First, we gotta go talk to Marge the Sarge. Here's your precision mission finder compass, Marge. Great! Now you can read the topographical map. Aha! I've got the location. I have you to thank. So thanks. You're welcome, Marge. I guess this means you're off to your exploration? Yes, exploration. Thank you for your help. No problem. The way she said that, it's like, yes, exploration. Marge doesn't need this map anymore, so I'm sure she won't mind if we use it. So now Freddy has casually stolen military... <laughs> Military <laughs> maps. <laughs> Freddy Fish is a war criminal. <laughs> oh, Freddy. I love you. Yes! That was the key. Not war criminal, but like, uh, saboteur. <laughs> It sure is dark in here. This is creepy. Let's leave. Not so fast. 
We need something to light up the cave so we can look for clues. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Perfect! Ooh, it's pretty in here. The glow necklace lights up the whole cave. Whew! I feel better already. Now we can look around for clues to where the sea monster is. Of course, the glow necklace is more powerful than the flashlights of the previous game. <laughs> One, pick up some sea cheese. As you Two, do. scare townspeople away from my home. Average Monday. Three, lurk at the deepest crevice of the ocean. Hmm. This must be the sea creature's to-do list. Are you sure? I'm certain of it. We need to find the location of the deepest crevice of the ocean. That's where the sea monster is. Typical, typical Friday night, I would say, for a sea monster. Hello there, I'm Earl, the map specialist. Nice to meet you, Earl. I'm Freddy, and this is my pal, Luther. Can you take a look at this map, my man? Look at this map we found. Do you please look at this top secret military map for me? <laughs> That's a beauty of a map. Is there any important information on it? I'll say. It's one of those top secret topographical maps the military uses. I could find the location of anything with this baby. Wow, that could be really handy. They even admit it's top secret. <laughs> does the map say where the deepest crevice in the ocean is? It surely does. It's at Swartwood's Hole. Hey, dirt. Thank you. Let's go, Luther. Rise up, citizens! Reclaim what is yours! What is ours? Yeah, what is ours? Let's oust the sea monster from his evil lair! Let's make Coral Cove Park a safe and fun place for the whole family! Yeah, oust the sea monster! We're all behind you, Marty! Oh! Hmm. Watch Look your step. Look at the size of that crevice. Management. Are you ready, Luther? Mm. Yeah, no fear, Freddy. Oh. oh, that's really pretty, though. I like that sprite work. Oh. to darken Zamfir's doorstep! <sighs> it's just Freddy Fish and Luther. <laughs> oh, you're that famous kid detective, aren't you? <laughs> You've succeeded in finding my new home. What do you mean, your new home? A certain greedy developer drove me out of my real home, Coral Cove Park. He claimed it as his own and turned it into a tourist attraction. You must mean Marty. Why did Marty develop the cove if it belongs to you? Marty has a lot of gall. I have a deed to prove I own this cove, and that didn't stop him. That's bunk. <gasps> there is no such deed. Zamfir, show us the deed. If what you say is true, Marty is in real trouble. It's right here. It was right here! Oh! The deed has been stolen! Oh no! The deed is gone! And so is Marty. Things are going from bad to worse. Zamfir, we're going to get that deed back for you. We won't stand for this kind of injustice. Let's go, Luther. I know where Marty lives. How do you know where Marty lives? Here we are at Marty's house. It looks more like a compound to me. Let's just stay calm. If we can get in, I know we can find Zamfir's deed. All right, so I'm going to splice it one last time for the last section of the game. I'll see you in a second. All right. Hello, doggy. She like a ducky? Ew. <laughs> the 
This rubber ducky is all slimy. It's a dog toy, Freddy. I guess you're right. We'll hold on to it anyway. Here you go, boy. Here, dogfish. Get your rubber ducky. He loves it. Now we can get past him. If you say so. I mean, he's no old soggy, but he's still pretty cute. Hmm, this looks interesting. It's a medium weight. Who knows? It might come in handy. Whoa! Whoa! Marty set a trap! I hope we're not stuck in here. Oh, great! The whole place may be booby-trapped! We need to find a way out of here. Good God. Of course, how does a fish fall? Hmm. That's a great question. A weight could be useful. We can see into the other room. <laughs> no one will find Zamphia's deed now. Not with it safely locked in my wool safe and the combination cleverly hidden in this fake book. Hmm. <laughs> my man, calm down. <gasps> He's coming this way. We need to get the safe combination out of that fake book. Then we can get Zamfir's deed back to him, right, Freddy? Exactly. Then we can put an end to this mystery once and for all. All right, let's rock and roll. Puzzle time. Look at that tiny window. Maybe we can get out that way. I'm right behind you, Freddy. Sweet freedom! Not so fast. We need to go back and get the deed. It's some kind of weight. Hmm. I'll we'll hold on to it for now. Let's try putting these in here. fits nicely, but it doesn't weigh very much. Perfect! Now we're getting somewhere. That does the trick! I heard something unlock. Oh, sweet doggy. And the lock's been lifted. Now the we book. We need to get that fake book with a combination inside, but the bookshelf is facing the wrong way. Revolving bookshelves are such a pain. I wonder how we can get around to the other side. True. Good questions. Good questions to ask. I bet I know. Also, that's a great staircase. Don't know why they need one, but it's really cool looking. No problem. The door's unlocked now. This is a very King's Questian sort of puzzle. I like it. I like it a lot. Somehow I think going through this door is still going to put us on the wrong side of the bookcase. Because now the bookcase is facing into the room, but now the door is unlocked so we can go around that way and go down the stairs, and it'll be facing us. Unless I've just horribly screwed it up. <laughs> In which case, it's going to be very embarrassing. Ah, here we go. Here we go. There we go. 
Look, Freddy, it's my favorite book, Old Yellerfin. That's a horrifying book for a little fish to read. Luther, you knocked a book out of Marty's bookcase. Huh? I, I could never watch Old Yeller. Maybe tear up too bad. It's the fake book. We need to open up Marty's safe with the combination we found. Okay, candle on the right, jug on the circle, lights on yellow, and 176 is the combination. This key must be important too. I'm going to hold on to it until we get the deed. The chandelier changed to yellow. I think the position of this vase means something. Let's borrow it for a minute until we figure it out. Let's rob him. <laughs> I mean, we are breaking in a ring. The vase's position means something. Let's try it here. I mean, to be fair, like, we are solving a mystery, but we have, we are breaking and entering into his private property. <laughs> this isn't quite like having an illegal hideout. <laughs> this candle might help us. I think I'll borrow it for a while. This candle should be in a candlestick holder. Facts? Look, a secret compartment and there's a keypad inside. One, seven, six, enter. And we did it, I think. Yeah, there we go. All right. Here's the deed. It says that Coral Cove Park belongs to Zamphir Duncan Dogberry Valentine. What a name. Just like Zamphir said it would. Security! Security! I got intruders in the compound! I got intruders in the compound! It's martial law! It's anarchy! Security! How'd you get in? You're all under arrest! Hold up right there! I understand there's a dispute over the rightful owner of Coral Cove Park. What's this about? Marty should be under arrest for theft. This deed proves that Coral Cove belongs to Zamphir. Is this true? Marty, have you any defense? Now I see why Zamphir turned into such a scary sea monster. Marty ruined his home. This whole mess is Marty's doing. This deed I'm holding proves that Zamphir Duncan Dogberry Valentine owns Coral Cove. Hip hip hooray! Hooray! I am sorry for scaring you all away. I was only trying to stop Marty. Thanks to Freddy and Luther, we stopped him once and for all. Marty's community service hours will keep him busy cleaning up this mess for a long, long time. As the rightful owner, you can choose what happens with Coral Cove Park. What do you think? Let's bring down these walls and this gate. We can all play in Coral Cove Park now. Yay! Once again, Freddy and Luther solve the mystery and save the day. And we have the weirdest credit sequence here. Normally, I would let the credits play out, but we need to... You gotta click on each one to bring them up. It, it's it's such a strange way that they decided to do it. I guess because they thought that the credit crawl was just gonna be too long. 
But this is it. This is this is Freddy Fish 5. And you know, it's the last game in the series. I kind of I, I can't really quite put my finger on what it is. But I can kind of tell why it's the last game. There's just something about it doesn't feel even the even the very first game and they hadn't quite clocked in like Freddy's design and whatnot. It felt it had the same spirit of the Freddy games. Like one one through four all feel a very certain way. Um, four kind of drifts a little bit. But this focuses so much on the cartoons and the talking and the weird pauses in animation. I'm not really sure what... I, I would love to know what the development of this was like. But I guess we'll never know. I mean, maybe. Maybe someday we'll find out, but... This is the last one, to the best of my knowledge. I know that, now there are two sort of side Freddy Fish games. It's Luther's Maze Madness and um, I don't remember what the other one is. It's it's basically Galaga, and the Maze Madness is it's a maze game. I have the maze game. Um, I don't have the other one. I mean, I have it on Steam, but I, I physically back in the day I, I had the disc for the for the Maze Madness. But yeah, I I still maintain that number three is my favorite. This has some really wacky things to it. It is still fun. It is definitely still fun to play though. But this is it, and this brings an end to the the one year anniversary celebration marathon. Soldier, it's kind of just sinking in. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try my best to have a sort of year in review video on Monday, where I look back over what this whole thing has been like. So I just want to say thank you, everybody, for joining me here today on the Mystery Channel. Thank you for joining me for a whole year on the Mystery Channel. I've been your host, Mr. E, and I'll see you again soon.